One of my biggest pet peeves as a real estate agent and a TC. I'm Bree, I help other realtors level up their marketing and I help teach other moms do what I do from home. The SBSA, let's talk about it. SBSA stands for the Statewide Buyer and Seller Advisory. It's 14 pages here in California. Page 14, let's talk about it. There's only two signature spots on page 14 for the seller, two for the buyer, and there's a small spot similar to the end of the purchase agreement that wants the name of the agent, their company, their DRE number, their company's DRE number, I think it's phone number, an email, and the address of the office. It's not that much stuff, but here's the problem. If you are the listing agent or you're the TC on the listing side, before you send this to the buyer side, please put their information on page 14. Why? Because you can't alter a document once it's been signed. So if they send it back and page 14 is not completed, but it's signed, that's a problem. Your compliance department is not going to like that and you can't change it now that someone has signed it. So you have to send it back to them and ask them to pretty please finish it when you could have just done it before they signed it. Follow for more pro tips.